Hi everyone and welcome to another movie review with me, Angela of Morbid Heart Design. And today I wanted to talk about a movie called Deadly Detention. There is a simple way to sum up this movie. Breakfast Club meets death. Deadly Detention. Group of students end up in detention, but they can't do detention at school because of a rabid possum invasion. So somehow, via the horror movie gods, they end up in detention in a closed down prison, which of course has urban legends of death and ghosts and chaos. The gore in this movie is super weak and it's mainly implied death. A little bit that you do see is more physical violence being done to somebody and you don't actually see them die. I was very unsure about how all of that played out, to be honest. The dialogue in this movie is terrible, but the terribleness is consistent through the whole thing. So I don't know if it's necessarily the writing style of the writers or if they just suck. There are two writers in this movie. They have done a total of five movies in their career and all five of these movies have been done together. So it might be their style. I haven't seen any of the other movies. I looked at the names, not the synopsis. I don't know if I want to see them because I don't really like their writing style. So here is an example of some of the terrible dialogue. He just wanted to die pretty and he looks awful. Fork, F-O-R-K. Fork him up. As the person holds a fork to in the conversation. Yeah, no, it worked for mystery men. It's not gonna work for you because guess what, bitch? Your superpower is not throwing forks, knives, and spoons. Despite the terrible writing, I do feel that the actors actually did a really good job with the over-the-top dialogue, over-the-top acting. I don't think there was any other way to actually do this, to be honest, with how much over-the-top dialogue there was. And who knows if that over-the-topness was even just based off the writing. Maybe that's what the director wanted to go for. I will say the entire soundtrack, feeling very 80s synthesizer, was actually a really nice touch. I do give them props for the sound in this movie. And I really don't have a lot to say on this movie beyond that. I mean, if you want silly, random, not so gory comedy horror, probably for you. If you like a lot more gore, not for you. Like, there's so much good potential for gore in this movie and they don't, don't go for it. I don't know if it's a budget or what, but it really could have uh, done a ton better in that. Overall, I do give this movie two zombieverse out of five. I don't want to watch it again. Thank you for watching another horror movie review with me. Please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't, and follow all of the social medias from my dark heart to yours. Have a wonderful day, and please don't die before my next video.